Welcome to episode three of Fucking Around with Jesse and Matt. And today we will be hosting our friend Sammy K. Say hello. Hi. Or it's Sammy GT3 or Double Butthole Girl. <laughs> Don't tell him about As, that yet. What are you talking about? Everybody knows. Okay. Everybody knows. That's fine. Yeah. Two buttholes. Check it out at the spicy page. What? You yeah. have a spicy page? Insane. Yeah. Wow. Insane. I've seen them. Insane. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> Anyways, we're here today with Sammy K. Um, it's our first guest. We're very excited. Yes. Oh, I'm the first? You're the first. You're my first. Like the very first time? Yeah. Ooh. Mm. So, um, how did we meet? How did we meet? I have no idea. I know how we met. Oh, how? Probably on Tinder. It was on, on TikTok. Not wrong T word, but oh. T app. But um, the, the I just saw this redhead and she like had this like strap on thing that she was about to put on. <laughs> and um, I just decided I that's that where out. I wanted to go and I slid in her DMs. And then she got strap on. Do you, do you remember that trend? It was like, what was it? It was the boom, boom. Didn't, didn't. Like you're supposed to put it on. Yeah. But I was okay. really disappointed you didn't. Uh, well, I, I still haven't gotten a chance still time. to like I know. do that to you yet. There's still time. Let's go right now. Right. right now. <laughs> like on camera. I think no. the thing is over there, anyways. <laughs> it is. It's yeah. right over there. I can grab we, it. Make it happen. The first podcast turns the, into <laughs> a full blown porn scene. Yeah. I like it. I'm down. Anyways, I think we have some questions. Do we have some questions or did someone forget about the questions? Someone might still be searching for the questions. Oh my God. This is terrible. <laughs> Anyways, new question. How's life been? How's your car? The car is great. Um, actually coming under three years of ownership. Nice. Two years racing it. Oh. Yeah. That's a while. Mm-hmm. No issues? Kind of. What kind of car do you have? I don't think yeah, people, some know. people don't yeah, know. Some people, some people don't, don't know. know. <laughs> So, Hence the GT3 in the end of her name. Well, I mean, some people don't even know what a GT3 is. Yeah, I have a That's 2015 991.1 GT3. It's nice. So fancy. So what got it's you nice. into cars? Pretty much playing video games with my brother when I was younger. That's so funny because that's what got him into cars. Was really? it Forza for both of you? Mm. No, uh, mine was Need for Speed, I think, Underground on like the original PlayStation. Yeah, that was an old. Yeah, with yeah. all the... You know, I played that game too. and Underglow, which has come back these days anyway. But the Underglow Underglo is like... It should not be coming back. No. Yeah, that's very yeah, jacky. Yeah. But the McLaren F1 was like the car that got me started on cars. Oh, oh yeah. Cool. yeah. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Okay. So yeah. what did you guys do today? Uh, today we made a bunch of reels. We took some pictures. Yeah. We did a bunch of TikToks. I saved you from falling in your heels earlier. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. My feet are super wide, <laughs> so I had those heels that have like the straps, and I was taking it off, and the strap got stuck, and then I fell and I was I there to died. catch her. Don't worry. Yeah. Oh my I almost God. broke both of my ankles today. Switch you. Super fun. Okay, so what I was saying was like, what do you do? How did you get into OF? Like, what's your main job? Did you say that? Because I didn't hear that. Huh? Yeah, I was about to say that. Before, oh, okay. How'd you get into what you're doing now? So, pretty much the long story short is I've always liked modeling. I've always liked cars. I started off wanting to be a runway model, but I'm only 4'11", so like that was not going to be in the cards <laughs> at all. I was about, you know, a foot too short for that one. Yeah. I think they have like midget modeling things. But not in runway. Mm, that's true. But, so I played video They're games, which... little people, but okay. Oh my God. I think like... They're actually called midgets. No. Okay. No. They're called little people. Okay. Anyway. I don't know. Little people. <laughs> okay, the little people. Yeah. So, and then, like, playing video games is what kind of sparked my interest in cars. And then I got my first car, which was a 2009 Mazda RX-8. Did nice. a couple of shoots with that. Terrible car. Go ahead. No, it's actually a lot of fun. And the rotaries and Dorito-ness, you don't know about that life. That's okay. I don't want to know about that That's life. That's okay. But Terrible. then I started doing photo shoots. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Shooting with other cars. And then as I got comfortable, I kind of got a little bit spicier as time went on. And okay. I just realized I should put it on a private platform and not public at all. Well, guys, I'm leaving you because I have some of the things to do. Uh, but. You're going to miss out on the fun, but. 
I will miss out on the fun, but there's more important things that I have to attend to. Unfortunately. I shall see you guys later. Have fun, Daddy. Bye. Oh. Okay, so uh, unfortunately, Matt had to leave. We, um, yeah, we messed up on timing today, so he has to go attend to dad duties. So it's just gonna be me and you. That's okay. All right, well, let's fuck around with Jesse and Sammy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so let's go back to how you started. You were like, getting into car modeling, and then did you do like actual modeling before you did OF? Well, kind of. It was mostly involved around cars. I actually traveled pretty much all over the US doing car events where I freelanced and worked for um, a couple different companies at car events, which was a lot of fun, like sold posters, air fresheners. It's kind of scary how many people probably have posters of me in their room at this point, but. <laughs> That's pretty cool, not gonna lie. Um, how, yeah. So do you think you're like super big in the car scene? Yes and no. I think the car scene has changed a lot and I've been more focused with my racing, which I personally enjoy driving more than anything. And so I'm glad I'm actually in a proper car to do so. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Okay, I like that. Mm -hmm. And then, yeah, so you just transitioned over to OF first. Was that like your first platform? So I did Patreon before that because I was being a little bit stubborn at first like, and I don't want to be an <laughs> OF girl <laughs> <laughs> pretty much but um I have to clear my throat do it <clears throat> <laughs> you good yeah I'm okay now I think <laughs> okay so Sam <clears throat> never wanted to be an OF girl she it's not that I didn't want to I just I wasn't that spicy yet and I started off with Patreon just to kind of get my feelers out and then COVID happened and like my normal job shut down and I just figured why not try OF and I did and I'm so glad I did. That's great. Mm -hmm. I think everyone is like, once you get past the thought of like, oh no, I don't, I hope no one finds out, then you, that part, you're just I didn't, like, ugh. Yeah, that part didn't bother me. Yeah. I'm just like, dude, it's, it's great. If you do it right, if you like actually take it seriously and you do it as a job, it could be good. Amazing. Right. Yeah. That's how we met. Yeah. 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 Well, kind of. But if I wouldn't have been on probably TikTok the way I was if it wasn't for OF. That's true. That is true. Mm -hmm. So. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> I'm very curious. Um, I think the people are curious. So, how did the world find out about your two buttholes? I mean, you guys just invited me over and started like butthole talk, and I just shared. I mean, I haven't seen them in a while. You know, it's been a while since I checked back there, but. Yeah, I think we were filming like a TikTok and Matt was like, let me see your butthole. And then you were like, kind which of just, one? Yeah. <laughs> and then we were like, wait, <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, fun fact. Yeah, did, did you know that there's actually a woman has who has like two vaginas? Mm -hmm. I actually saw her on TikTok or someone on TikTok. Yeah, I think it's, I think there's actually multiple people because there's one lady who does OF mm -hmm. slash porn and she's like, I use one for work and one for personal <laughs> life. <laughs> but does she ever use both at the same time? I don't know. That's a good question. She might, you know, I mean, that could be her <laughs> moneymaker using both vaginas at the same time. Have you used both buttholes at the same time? I have not actually. No? No. You could have like triple penetration without, oh. That would that be one? interesting. You could have like a butt plug. You have like two butt plugs and like just regular intercourse, triple penetration. Writing that down now. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Okay, so how long, so just COVID, right? Or how long were you doing Patreon before that? Um, or a little over a full year. Okay. So I'm a little over four years into- Into the industry? Yeah. That's pretty cool. So has it been a positive experience for you so far? Yes. That's great. That's great. I like to hear that. Um, do you see yourself continuing in the industry for a really long time? I, it's hard to say. I definitely want to do it as long as I'm comfortable doing it, but obviously getting into other business adventures and not leaning on this for a while is kind of the plan. Nice. So. You're like, I'm gonna make my money, I'm gonna get the fuck out, make yeah. some more money. 
Buy some I more like supercars. It. Buy some more supercars. <laughs> What's that supercar lady? Um, supercar blondie? Yeah, supercar blondie. You're gonna be supercar brunetti? Nah. <laughs> I don't think so. No? no? I really wonder how she got into that. I don't even know what car she actually owns personally. Neither do I. She's just around all of the supercars. It's, yeah. It's pretty cool. I mean, I don't really understand what her job even is. Except even to know. go like show supercars. Yeah. Uh, which I guess is a cool job, honestly. Um, so, other than the Porsche that you have now, what's your dream car? So, the... GT3 I have now was my dream car and I'm really happy to have it. But ever since the 992 GT3 RS came out, I'm just like, oh my God. <laughs> what's like, what's the main difference that makes you just want it, need it? It just looks so aggressive and just how they develop the handling even better than what platform I'm working with. Like, I just, I want to at least drive one, but I know if I drive one, I'm going to probably gonna steal it. One? Yeah, it's going to yeah. end up in my garage. <laughs> That's funny. Okay, so all around dream car, GT3. Yeah. Wow. Well, like my ultimate unobtainable one is a McLaren P1, but I would still pick a 992 GT3 RS over that because it's, it just take it out more. Like a P1, like I just feel like isn't going to be used the way it's meant to be used. Really? Yeah. Okay. So what do you it's think people? It is a lot of car. Yeah. 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 I agree with that. So you think it's just like a car people have in their garage or something? Yeah. I mean, not a lot of people like actually track them or whatever and you know it's scary too because if something does go wrong that's a pretty hefty price tag <laughs> that's true how much money do you think you would have to have in order to buy yourself a p1 well they're going for over two million now so i would say probably be making double that a year okay like four million, million a year yeah ah oh, man I feel like I wouldn't want to own a car like that until I was making like a million a month. <laughs> could you, could you even fathom making that much money? That's a a million dollars a month. And people just do that. There's so many people yeah. that have so much money in the world. It's crazy. It is. It is so crazy. God, we were in California recently and we were looking around and I'm like, the amount of millionaires that just live right here in Southern California. Oh, it's insane. It's insane, yeah. Yeah, actually the first P1 I got to do a photo shoot with, he was from the Bay Area. Okay, that's and where I grew up. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's, it's so crazy. I think California has the most millionaires per capita. Probably. I think it's, I think it's California and then some random ass state and then New York. And some then random ass state. It's like some weird state. I think it's like, can you fact check this right now? <laughs> we have. We need to know. Have you ever seen the Joe Rogan podcast? I've heard of him, but no. What? Heard of him? Do you know who Joe Rogan is? I think so. What? You don't know who Joe Rogan is? That's crazy. Hold on. I bet if I've seen, I'm really bad with names, honestly. But I don't watch a lot of podcasts, honestly. Oh my God. Be able to show me. Joe Rogan. I keep it sounds familiar though. I'm sure if I see his face, I'm gonna be like, yeah, I've seen his stuff at least. I don't think so actually. Well, he, did it say UFC? Yeah, so he is like a UFC commentator. Okay, that's probably why. I don't really watch a lot of fight stuff. So this is him more recently. He's a comedian. Yeah, I don't think I've He's actually got like seen him. one of the most famous podcasts. That's crazy. I'm not in the podcast world. Well, now I am, I guess. But. Now, you are. <laughs> now you are. So it's New York, California, okay. Texas, Florida. New York, California, Texas, Florida. I, I'm surprised Texas is not bigger because I feel like there's a lot of old money in Texas, like with right. the oil stuff. Florida actually kind of, I, well, I guess because of that's where a lot of that's where celebrities. That's where a lot of people go. Yeah. yeah. So there was like a mass exit of California within the recent years because of the taxes. And so... Everybody from California either went to Texas or Florida, but I'm assuming that these stats are old. A lot of people so. came here too. Yeah, actually, yeah, this I is like the fastest that. growing city in the U.S. right now. Mm -hmm. I was researching that actually, and it made me great that we, so happy that we bought here. <laughs> <laughs> um, this is a super random question. Okay, let's hear it. I think this is going to be a question for both of us okay. to answer for each other. 
Um, that is so random. What animal reminds you of me? What animal? Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> that is very <laughs> random. Wait, I have such a funny one. For you or for me? <laughs> for you. Okay, let's hear it. Do you know the wiener dog from Toy Story? Yes. <laughs> Wait, why? <laughs> That's not even a real animal. That's a cartoon. Are we going cartoon char character now? <laughs> it was an animal. Wiener dog. Don't you own wiener dogs? Yeah, I have two wiener dogs. You look like your pets. I look like my... <laughs> you don't look like your kitties here. <laughs> I don't look like my cats. No. no. I don't look like my dogs either. I don't no. think. I don't think so. No. I'm trying to think. I'm really bad at this. But I feel like, kind of like a panther. Ooh, a panther. <laughs> I actually really like that. That's just the first thing that came to my mind because they're kind of like majestic, but in like, they don't, I feel like they're not as popular as like a wild cat. She's but it's like majestic. I did. Wow. Oh my god. That's why you should let your hair down pretty? and you're very majestic with your hair down. Oh I know, but I got oh. It's okay. I've seen it. It's fabulous. It's rough today, okay? Now Okay. That leads me to ask, would you rather have the ability to talk to animals or read people's minds? talk to animals i don't want to know what really yeah i don't want to know what happens in people's minds honestly i don't like what happens in my mind a lot so hmm. that makes a lot of sense <laughs> that makes a lot of sense i don't know what i would choose i feel like talking to animals would be really cool but like being able to read people's minds i feel like it would get me so far in life that's true yeah so you have to just surround yourself with the people of the minds you want to yes 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 Hmm. I think like to make me happy, I would want to be able to talk to animals, but like, no, not even because like if I use the reading people's minds properly, that could make me very happy as well. I think I'm going to go with reading people's okay. minds. That's cool. Yeah. I might get my feelings hurt, but that's okay. <laughs> you don't want to know what I'm thinking then. I'm just <laughs> Damn. I'm only kidding. Damn. Um, if you could travel one place in the whole entire world, where would you go? Oh, one place. I feel like... I never know the answer to this because I haven't really done, like, enough research. Yeah, I feel that. But I really just want to go to, I like, to, like, Bora Bora or Maui. Like, just something very mm. tropical and, like, exclusive and just be in your own little bubble, pretty much, on an island. Like, I really like... What about, like, Barbados? Yeah, that would be cool. That'd be cool. Barbados has been popping up a lot. Really? Yeah, I don't know why, but it looks super cool. Cause like I know like I'm fifty percent Italian and like my mom really wants to go to Italy. Okay. But it's not really like I'm not really a big like touristy type of traveler. So yeah. you can find like a lot of non-touristy places. Yeah. But my number one place that I would like to travel is Norway. I want to go to I Norway actually so bad. just saw a TikTok that I think it was Norway where part of it it never goes completely dark because the way the sun rotates around mm. it will get like dim but it won't get like dark. dark. Mm -hmm. That's cool. Yeah, I want to go see the Northern Lights in Norway. Yeah, it'd be cool. Um, I'm like super interested ever since actually ever since like Game of Thrones became really big. Um, I held off watching Game of Thrones for so I've long. I've never watched it. Really? Mm -hmm. Okay. So I I've seen bits out. and parts of it, but it's it's honestly, you know, I didn't want to like it, but it's a really good TV show. Um, so Game of Thrones was amazing, and then I was like, "Holy shit, this is this is like awesome! I want to keep watching this." And then of course they were like, "Nope, fuck you, we're not making any more episodes." <laughs> Isn't that where your um, Instagram is? Yeah. Yeah. So <laughs> actually, yeah. Yeah. So um, when I first like got onto TikTok, people were like. Oh, Santa, you look like Santa, Santa, Santa. And I made my handle Just not Santa. Like coming down a little bit, a little peep show. <laughs> Free peep show. Um, so anyways, then I got super interested in the Viking stuff. And then like Netflix had a series on Vikings. And then I started like Googling a bunch of stuff uh -huh. about them. And then of course, like Norway was just one of the places that has a lot of history with that. And I was like, that would be such a cool place to visit. And then like this little town, Oslo, 
I, th I think, is that their capital? I think Oslo is the capital. Um, it's so fucking cute. Is like, it? I want to go there so bad. Actually, Switzerland mm. is somewhere I really want to go. They have a lot of cool scenery. Yeah. I wish I could just sh teleport my car there. Yeah. I wouldn't trust shipping. I don't trust anybody, like, touching my car, really. Oh, my gosh. But mm. what would you do if you moved across the country? If I moved across the country or to a different country? No, across the country. To California, where I want to be? Yeah. I mean, I would be doing kind of the same things now, but just, like, times 10. Cause there's just no, no, no. Not crowd. that. But, like, moving your car. Would you pay for oh, to do it? Or would I would trailer it out. Just yourself? Yeah. Oh. That makes sense. Hmm. Sorry, I had a little brain fart there. For it's okay. I forgive you. She's like, I'd be doing full-blown porn. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay. So, if you moved to California, you would just be doing this way more right so what's your dream place to shoot my dream place to shoot i mean it depends because everything gets a little overplayed like i've been to california and shot with cars in california before and like a lot of people go to like san gabriel mm -hmm. and um azusa canyon and those are a lot of fun to drive to but i was like telling you like moving far away from the dragon makes me sad and for the viewers that don't know the Tale of the Dragon is uh, mostly in Tennessee, but it's partially in North Carolina. And it's an 11 mile long road with 318 turns and it is amazing. How Not fast fun. have you driven it? Um, so there's like people that are like hardcore, like they'll like try to time themselves, but it's really hard to get like a clean run because it is a highway and yeah. normal people are traveling on it. But there's parts where if you are a decent driver you can hit triple digits but it's not often and there's only like a like two or three sections oh okay but there's definitely some like hairpins and like tighter stuff and then there's like some stuff that's a little bit more open too but and then like the canyons in california it's pretty much the dragon but like stretched out yes for the most part yeah. not as many like tight turnarounds and stuff but mm -hmm. we have friends up there too so it's nice to like see them i mean you should just move to california with <sighs> us and then you could just visit the dragon or we can just like get a decent enough house we can both live there and we won't even know we're there separate camp. oh just like a huge mansion yeah oh yeah that sounds great <laughs> that electric bill will be crazy <laughs> it's right off it's a new for me dog <laughs> but anyways yeah what what's your dream place to shoot my uh, i love shooting actually in um in Las Vegas, the, what is it called? Like the flap, oh, I can't think of the name of it, right? Not the salt flex, that's uh, Utah. Just like out in the desert? Yeah, kind of. I like the, the desert vibes where you can see mountains and. That's your dream shoot, is shooting there? No, because I've already done it. Yeah, so it's your dream shoot. I've shot shoot. in so many different places already. Well, like anywhere that you haven't been yet that you really want to go. She's like, I just live my dreams. Oh my God, no. You should try it. I mean, I've, like, shot in the city, country, desert, mountains. Like, I've pretty much, like, done, done it, it all. all. Yeah. Damn. Okay. I've been shooting for a long time. I've been doing this, like, 10 years. You should go <clears> find, like, a wrecked car under the water and then shoot with it underwater. I cannot. I'm, like, actually, one of the things I'm terrified of is opening my eyes underwater. What? I cannot. I don't, it scares me. I don't know. I can't bring myself to do it. Even in, like, a pool? Yeah. What? I've never opened my eyes in water it terrifies me that's such a random fear i'm like scared the chlorine is gonna like mess with me and like i don't know it just like i'm always like there's times where i'm like i should just do it and then like i can't bring myself to do it wow that is so interesting hmm. i'll be the person that, like puts on goggles like <laughs> i definitely would wear goggles no care at yeah. all with how i look no <laughs> <laughs> what's going through your mind right now actually what's going through my mind is can blind people see in their dreams i guess it depends because how? how would that work i guess if you were born that way probably not because they have no reference of anything but people that have had sight earlier in life can probably because yeah but do you think like blind people can well, obviously, if you're blind, you are making up, like, a... You, who, who really knows? But yeah, well, who knows? let me ask you're you a question. Are. What? Would you rather you lose your eyesight, hearing, or 
ability to taste anything or speak pretty much. Those are two very different things. I know. I guess speak. So, okay. Would I rather lose my sight, my hearing, hearing or, or my speech? Yeah. Mm. Wow, that's a tough one. I know. I know my answer. I think I would rather lose my ability to speak. That's mine too. Yeah. I thought about hearing because then I would still be able to speak and I'd be able to see, but... I enjoy movies too much. I enjoy music too much. Yeah. I enjoy listening to my car too much. So there's no way I would give up that. And obviously yeah. I wouldn't give up eyesight for anything. If... Yeah. I think I would not speak. That's, hmm, that's a tough yeah, question. It is. Huh. Okay. So you like watching movies. What else do you like to do? Do you, are you binging any shows on Netflix right now? So I actually just finished watching the Netflix show Beef and it was... <laughs> Beef? I haven't even heard of it. Yeah, that. no, it is so good. Um, it's pretty much these two um, people that got in like a road rage incident and then they keep just like messing with each other's lives and it just keeps getting like worse and worse and worse and it like... What? I have bad road rage so now it like makes me think twice before flipping someone <laughs> off. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. No, it was actually really good. I hope they renew the season. I think it was 10 episodes. They're kind of short. Like, they're between, like, 30 to 40 minutes. But okay. I really enjoyed that a lot. Huh. I, I started watching this, um, I don't know what it's called. It's, like, some FBI show where this kid starts and he's, like, really young. He's a lawyer. Okay, not the one that I thought you were going to say. We just watched Night Watch as well. Hmm, I don't know which is, one. Which was really good. I might have to put that on my list. I like FBI shows and, like, cop shows. And yeah. If in another life, I would definitely want to be, like, a secret spy of some sort. Preferably, like, a Russian spy that's, like working with america though working with both <laughs> countries and then you just have like intel on everything and yeah some crazy stuff would happen crazy stuff yeah anyways <laughs> i don't know what the show is called but it's a pretty good show i haven't gotten to watch tv that much i think we've been trying to watch this for like months yeah so i don't know if it'd be considered PJ. usually i like wind down you know i try to put as much time into like lf as possible but at the same time, I need some me time. So usually yeah. around 11.30, I cut it off. Nice. Watch TV for a little bit, wind down, and then go to sleep. Nice. I wish I could fucking do that. <laughs> um, dude, like work is just... But you're killing it. All day, mm -hmm. every day. And then... You inspire me. Oh, thank you. This is going to make me cry. <laughs> um, work all day, every day. And then we have two kids, so... Mom life. Yeah, well, you start making content a lot more, too. Because I remember, like, Monday was your content days, but I feel like it's, like, every day now. Every freaking day. Yeah. Every day. Yep. Wow, I remember when Monday was our content day. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that ship sailed. <laughs> um, <laughs> what is something... Ooh, this is a good question. What is something that people would consider weird about you? About me? Yeah, like something that you do that people would think is weird. So I have a weird habit, but I don't do it as much anymore. But I don't, it's just the first thing that comes to my head, but it's not like really weird, weird. Mm, okay. But my mom used to make fun of me all the time. It's not really anything like crazy. So like, usually I like wearing like lower cut stuff. But for some reason, if I was just like chilling and I have like a t-shirt on, I would just like chew on my t-shirt. No, Matt does that too. Really? He'll chew on his t-shirt. I think it's a sensory thing. Is it? Yeah. So. Um, I don't even know I'm doing it. Sometimes I'll just like have like the lip of the collar, mm -hmm. like just in my mouth. When you have like a sweatshirt that has strings, do you buy yeah. the string? Yeah. Well, Matt I'm always like fidgeting with stuff. Not that that's like a weird thing, but like if I don't have this on, like I don't really tell much I go you to You might have ADHD. It. Probably. I think Matt has ADHD. Um, yeah, and then our, our youngest, I just saw, they do that too. They like bite really? their t-shirt, yeah. So, I'm like, just the first what are you thing doing? My, mind. And my weird thing that I found out was weird and not mm -hmm. normal. I, like, I don't even understand how it's not normal, so. <laughs> Spilled beans. Eating in the shower. I like to take <laughs> snacks into the shower with me. <laughs> 
<laughs> like I like Do you to, like rinse them off first and <laughs> eat them? Like No, but like I like to take longer showers. Oh, I love so, long like, showers. I'll just like hang out in the bathtub or I'll hang out in the shower, but mostly the shower. And like the bathtub is understandable because you have like the little, yeah, the little like, tray. Yeah. So I mean but the shower. I just do that in the shower. Like I'll bring What's your a favorite snack to bring in the shower? Um I don't know. Anything. <laughs> anything that I'm hungry for that day, I'll just bring it in. I'll be like Is that your snack time? Yeah. I don't know. I found out that was weird. I didn't think that was weird. Yeah, I don't think I've ever heard someone bringing food into the shower. Yeah. Cause I mean in general, I try not to bring anything edible in the bathroom with me for sanitary reasons that's what somebody told me and I was like, yeah what do you mean the shower is clean but at least no but at least like you know like toilet wise you you have a door that your toilet like hides behind too yeah so that's true hopefully you wash your hands afterwards i do wash my that's hands good. practice good hygiene dude actually speaking about washing hands after the restroom we went and we worked at a coffee mm -hmm. shop um, oh oh my gosh, we got this table because it was like the only table that backed up to a wall and we were working on like OF stuff. Um, and it was right next to the Oh, you to don't want to give everyone a free preview as you're working? No, I don't okay. think people would have appreciated that. <laughs> but um, so we were sitting next to the restroom and like anytime I would hear it flush, I would like switch the screen off and go to a, a different screen because I don't have like a privacy screen mm -hmm. on my uh, work computer. And um, the amount of women Okay. That didn't wash their Women hands. that don't wash their hands is atrocious. I think it was like seven out of ten did not wash their hands. They, you oh would hear God. it flush uh. and they would walk out. And I was like, oh, ew. The only time, so like, there's been times where, you know, when everyone was using sanitizer because like COVID, ew, where I didn't yeah. even like, I didn't trust like touching stuff sometimes if you can't like open the door mm -hmm. without like a nap or like you know paper towel i used to just like rinse off a little bit and then like use my like sanitizer and just like <laughs> oh my god <laughs> yeah dude i don't know man that's gross yeah you gotta wash your hands wash your hands and you gotta wash your hands like with soap not just water okay it was wild it was really weird talking about bathroom things can i bring up something weird i think that men should be doing that they don't do what I think it's weird that they don't wipe like a little pat pat. <gasps> I think that's weird too. Like it's drippy. They just like shake it. Yeah, that's like hey, so gross. You probably just do that too. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> Matt, dude, Matt, like he went, he went like pee, mm -hmm. right? He didn't just use bathroom, but he went pee, and then he was like, "Oh, you want to get me a blowjob?" And oh. I was like, "No." Yeah. Absolutely. Like, you have pee on your dick. <laughs> no. Well, and then, like, they're boxers, you know? Just... Oh, my God. Yeah. Like, could you imagine not wiping them? Putting yeah. Them like, they should just get, they should get one square, just pat, pat, and then, yeah, dispose of it. Yeah. Have you seen, like, <laughs> have you ever seen, like, when they come out of the bathroom and they have, like, a little wet spot? Yeah. Yeah, that's... No. Not okay. Yeah. I think it should become a social norm for... I, I do, too. You guys. Yeah. Actually, um... I think it should become socially acceptable for men to sit down when they go pee too. It was like drilled into their brain to like stand up when you go pee, but it's so much less mess when you sit down to pee. Yeah. Yeah. And I'll, I feel like a lot of men won't admit that they sit down to pee and tell another dude's like, yeah, dude, I sit down. <laughs> and be like, yeah, I sit down too. <laughs> it's so weird. But that one's another way to be clean. Yeah. I agree. Yeah. Uh, pff, I'm a clean freak. I don't know. Oh, I thought you were pretty dirty. Ooh. <laughs> do you have, other than your two bowls, do you have any hidden talents? Um, I haven't done it in a while. I actually can't do it anymore, but because I got a nose job, but I used to be able to be able, because my nose is bigger, I used to be able to touch my tongue to my nose, oh. but I can't do it anymore. <laughs> I'm not even going to attempt to do it. <laughs> I can't do it. But yeah, I can't do it anymore. Have you ever tried to lick your elbow? I can't. I've tried that. Can you? So <laughs> and now it's going to be mental for me, but every time I try to lick my elbow, my tongue goes the opposite way. <laughs> How like, does that work? Why? Uh. Yeah, no, there's no way that's happening. <laughs> yeah, besides, I don't really have any hidden talents, I don't think. 
That's a tough one. But you know what, like, is weird? Hmm. This happens to me, like, way too often, especially when I was in school. I feel like it was, like, some kind of hidden sense. Oh, okay. Where I could just, like, it happened way too often that the teacher would tell me to turn to, tell the class to turn to a specific page, and I would just open it, and it would be this specific page. Like, that happened, like, way too many times, and I'm like, what is happening? Oh, you know what just popped into my head? Do you remember that? <laughs> Do you remember that part in Mean Girls where... I think her name was Karen, was like, yeah, I'm psychic. And then yeah. she like grabbed her. Who can tell when it's raining? <laughs> There's a 75% <laughs> chance that it's, it's already raining. raining. <laughs> I actually just watched that quite a few times recently. It's been on a lot. That's so funny. What's like, have you had any wild requests on OF? Um, What's the wildest request you've had? To me personally, and I don't like to kink shame. Let's just put okay. that out there. So when somebody says, I don't like to kink shame, they're about to kink shame. No, I'm just kidding. What? But I think the whole wanting me to jar up number two and give it to them, that is kind of weird, personally. Mm -hmm. um, I don't really see the kink I have been in asked that. to shit in a bag and film it. Have you done it? Nope. Oh, yeah, I have not either. Yeah. Somebody was like, hey, next time you take a shit, <laughs> don't wipe and send me a picture. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that that's was just... Like, that's a little bit too far no. for me. Like I, the like pee doesn't really bother me. I haven't personally done it, but that doesn't really bother me as much. Okay. But just the number two is a little too much for me. What if your spouse came up to you and was like, "Hey, can I pee in your mouth? It's like my biggest kink. Would you let it happen?" Hmm. I don't know. Wow, that wasn't an immediate no. So I feel like there's mm. there's a chance. <laughs> Go in the shower. But the thing is with that, it's like, I guess it would depend. On like diet. I feel yes. like it would depend on diet for sure. Because you know how like sometimes your pee is clear when you're really hydrated? Yeah, like yeah. it might not be that bad, but it could be really bad. It could be. That's why. Well, now you know. Stay hydrated and you might get to pee in Sammy's <laughs> mouth. <laughs> Uh, okay, I I'm so even, done. I'm just kidding. I don't even know what the wildest request I've had is. Like, I couldn't even. I. There has been some crazy stuff. Yeah. And I've been doing this for so long that actually, you know what? You got one. I got one. <sighs> Back when I was dancing. Mm -hmm. This is probably the wildest request I've ever had. Back when I was dancing. Um, I was dancing for this guy and he's like, oh, could you bite my neck? And I was like, mmm, okay. Did he want you to draw blood? No. No? So come to find out, like, further into it, like, I, like, bit on his neck a little bit and then you could tell he's like, <laughs> 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 But he's like, oh, do it harder, like, do it hard. Like, yeah. Like, wanting me to, like, bite him. Come to find out, he had a cannibalism fetish. He wanted to be eaten. Oh, that definitely did not go the direction that I thought. No. I know people have like the like pain kink and everything yeah. too, and nope. like like to experiment with like blood and stuff. But that's definitely not where I thought it was going. Yeah, it it was it it started as like very small, very innocent. It was like I would have been like, okay, bye, Jeffrey me. Dahmer, I'm out. <laughs> but Jeffrey Dahmer backwards, he wanted to be eaten. I guess. Okay, yeah, I was just like. Nope, not gonna You're like, like I'm sorry. not Jeffrey Dahmer. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> not gonna eat. <laughs> I thought I was gonna like oh, oh my, my god, god, it's so late. I gotta go home. Yeah. yeah. One bite, I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's when the oddest request. Okay. And that was in person too. That was in person, yeah. At least he's comfortable with himself. Yeah, I mean You know? You know, I feel like so I think I said this in a previous podcast, but I always wanted to go into therapy. Mm -hmm. Like I wanted that to be my profession. And I feel like I kind of did that in a way because I feel like sex works is Yeah, people therapy. confide in you a lot. Yes. Mm -hmm. Like you are a therapist without like a license. It's crazy. For me, I try to keep it more light and fun with my fans. Like mm -hmm. if they want to say something, that's fine. But like, I'm not going to lie, I don't know yeah the right thing to say all the time and i'd rather not say the wrong information yeah. to them so you know i usually just like say like oh i appreciate you like feeling comfortable with me and like yeah. just try to turn it around to like being more fun after yeah. that so that's a good way to do it yeah i like 
I think it's I think it's awesome. You know, like sex therapy is great. The like the fact that people think porn is so bad I is know. just beyond. And me. I feel like we're honestly going backwards at this point. Like it the world backwards. is just trying to shut us all down. Yeah. I mean, it's so scary. It is. It's so scary. Especially what they're trying to pass right now, like the TikTok ban. Oh, I saw that. They just want to be all up in your business. Well, like even like with me, I feel like I had just some like negative thoughts about sex work earlier mm. before I really started venturing out into doing it myself just because one of like jealousy and like two like I just was uneducated yeah so and then like three as I got older I'm like who gives a shit because yep. we all either have tits and a cooch or a penis <laughs> like yeah everyone in this everyone world has it yeah so I, it's just kind of crazy to me how people put bodies on such a pedestal it's so weird to me like you can go to the beach and you can see a thousand women in bikinis but as right. soon as you post <laughs> a photo of you online in like some lingerie people are like oh you're disgusting but right. you post a picture of yourself at the pool in a bikini people are like oh my god what a fun day and like people have sexualized me ever since doing car modeling because they all just the time. They just assume I'm sleeping with all the car guys and I'm shooting with their cars. I'm like, yeah. that's not how it works. <laughs> like, I'm, it's so crazy. I don't know. I mean, it's so double standard, too, because, mm -hmm. like, when men say that they do OnlyFans, you're like, oh, man, right on. You can, you get to fuck a lot of girls, don't you? And then it's like, oh, you do OnlyFans? Like, damn, dude. Well, well, see, that's, how high is your mileage? Like, that's kind of where, like, you know, I had my kind of more and like I wouldn't say like negative thoughts but like in high school it's like if you slept with a guy like you're labeled as a slut automatically but then a guy is the man if he is able to sleep with multiple girls yep. and like at the time like I just didn't want to be labeled as that and like it did bother me getting called those names earlier like in life so I always like tried to make a point not to be and even with my car mm. modeling I started off like a little bit more modest but then I realized like you know sex sells yeah and it was a big confident like boost too and mm -hmm. it was like a roller coaster because I got bullied a lot and then after high school you know I started modeling and then like everyone was enjoying what I was doing I'm like oh this is a kind of cool of course I got hate of, yeah and not course. everyone is gonna like how I look which is fine yeah and there's something for everybody and but um you know sometimes it's a little rough like seeing yeah some of the comments, I mean my but, feelings get hurt sometimes still yeah. even though I have thick skin but it's yeah it definitely is it's a confident booster because you, you learn that like these parts of you mm -hmm. that people that you don't like people are in love with and you're right. like whoa what I can love that about myself like that's awesome yeah, yeah I agree I think sex work is great in so many ways and there's such a negative bubble surrounding it but people don't like unless obviously you have negative experiences in sex right. work which is common it could be so great it can yeah I mean there's two sides to everything but for right. us at least at least we've had positive experiences yeah and I've met a lot of great people along the way too have you ever had any bad experiences in the industry bad experiences yeah um i wouldn't say so just because i mean i yeah. haven't really collabed with a lot of people mm. you were my first collab which was a lot of fun yeah yeah that was cute it was but i've kind of always been like a little bit solo for the most part that gives you a little bit in on my page and what i do but <laughs> i don't know like it just not that i'm a control freak but i do like being in control of my page and my content yeah. in some way shape or form no that makes sense i mean like if you end up wanting to leave the industry, you can control, like, right. if people have access to it or not. Yeah, yeah. that makes sense. Um, I don't know. I don't think I've really had terrible experiences, just, like, not great customers. But I've been pretty lucky. Yeah. I mean, I wasn't even thinking about, like, that route either. Yeah. Um, usually I'm able to just like brush most of it off like mm -hmm. out of all the people that I've had subscribed I've only blocked like maybe 40 people in the three years I've been doing this which is I think a pretty good ratio that's a pretty good ratio yeah yeah, yeah. but it takes me a lot to block someone too yeah I mean you shouldn't have to get to that point right with with collaborations I feel like I've only really had maybe like a couple instances where it's been really negative and it was like come 
if you look at a bigger picture, like it wasn't just me. It was that person who did it to like everyone. So Ooh. it was just like a bad seed. Yeah. And there's plenty of those. Yeah. So, I mean, I worked with a couple bad seeds and unfortunate, but it happened. Um, but other than that, I feel like I've had pretty positive experience yeah. in all line of, of sex work that I've done. I've had, I, well, I guess I've had more bad experiences, honestly, in the car industry with like being hired and um, even that just sucks. like hiring photographers and everything. Mm -hmm. Like I, one really made me upset. Like I loved his work and then he majorly edited my body into like a Kim Kardashian body. And I'm like, what? what? That, I was, and then I was, there was a couple that weren't like really, really that bad. He only gave me like, I think like eight or 10 images back and there was only two that really bothered me hmm. just because the angles you can tell like I had a perfect hourglass and he made like my hips bigger it just it did not look like me and he was like yeah. I don't have time to go back and edit and I'm like god damn so rude Ew. yeah photographers are oh they can be either the coolest people or like the fucking worst people you ever meet I there is like no in between they're either cool or they're terrible yeah I don't know I did oh I had so many ew experiences with photographers that I'm like, I don't even want to model anymore. That's why I stopped. I was like, I don't take nice pictures. I yeah. just take iPhone pictures. Well, you've been stepping up your game now. And I yeah, love it. ever since we hired our freaking filmer slash yes. editor. Hey, shout out, go follow him <laughs> at currently Dawson. He's going to put it right here. <laughs> <laughs> but um, yeah, I mean, I found that one person that I will trust to like right. take our photos, do our videos and stuff, but I will not shoot with other people. Yeah. No. It's hard for me to work with other people outside of what I, I do. Mean, yeah, you're lucky. You got, yeah. You got your mans. Yeah. Um, has OF changed your perspective on sex work? Yeah. I mean, we kind of dipped into that like yeah. a little bit. I just... So like, it was, it's always been like positive with OF. Yes. So if OF crashed and died, you know how we've had these scares, would right. you continue on like a new site? Yeah, I'd probably go to a different site or try to make my own domain because, you know, like we're fortunate where we have decent followings where we would definitely be able to get people to go onto like private platforms. Yeah, I think I actually, so I thought about this before. I think it would be crazy. Like if OF went down, mm -hmm. like there's Fansly. There's many vids, there's chatter right. bay. Like you could do all those things that have that have been there for a while. But I don't know if anything will get to the OF point again. I mean I'm sure that oh, it could I agree. Be. But and then imagine just all of us making our own sites. I feel like that would deter a lot of customers. It would because um you, you know, OnlyFans is just so well known and so mainstream now. Mm hmm But I actually um was talking to a friend of mine who does Fansly and OnlyFans and like she got to like 0.09% on Fansly and I was like, you don't have to share, but I was just curious like what the income is like, what oh, that percentage. so it, fucking bad. Yeah, well. I mean, it's not bad. Right. You still make really decent money, but. It just shows the difference between. The difference between, is crazy. Yeah. Like insane right. difference. Yeah. But if OF did shut down, I'd probably start a Fansly right away just because I know it's the popular enough. The platform is actually really I've heard it's very user-friendly. It's really, to, yeah. really, really complicated in my opinion. Oh, you think so? Mm -hmm. Oh. There's so much more. So I hear, yeah, I hear it's kind of intricate how you can like set it up yes. and how you can send stuff out. Yep. And it's very confusing. So like OF is very basic. Like right. boom, you send a message. With, with Fansly, there's like so many different buttons and so many different tiers that you could set up that it, it's like, whoa. It's like going from an iPhone to an Android. <laughs> That's the best comparison I can make. It's, it's wild. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's a funny comparison. <laughs> uh, so with your large following, have you ever had a viral moment? I did, and it was honestly such like a missed opportunity because what? on one of my TikToks, I was just making content for my birthday and Halloween mm -hmm. this past October. And a lot of guys love heels and I wear heels a lot. Like those are like my preferred shoes. I don't just go out and wear heels all the time because it's just not my personality, but I love shooting in heels, especially because I'm okay. short. And I just like filmed myself this way and I was like, I know a sound all men love. And then I pointed it down at my feet and started walking and you can hear like my heel sound. And it went 
viral. That but, one did go super viral. But then I ended up losing the account. Like it, um, the video was eight point or eight hundred and like fifty something thousand views, and then I lost the account. And then I got it back a week later. But in that week, like I made it on like truck TikTok, car TikTok, golf TikTok, whiskey TikTok, Star Wars TikTok, and obviously it went to like Instagram Reels yep. as well. And but I was getting no credit for this whatsoever. Actually, when I first saw the sound, it was another girl using your right. sound. Right. Yeah. And her, her video stayed up for. It ended up getting taken down. I don't know if her whole account or just that video, mm. but it ended up get. Um, it ended up getting taken down eventually. But I'm like, this is such bullshit. <laughs> yeah, of course. Like, of course, my voice goes viral. <laughs> yeah. Like my videos that. No, but it's still going around. Yeah, I still get people like mentioning me or sending it to me. Yep. And it is insane. There has been a couple cool people where I'll like I try to comment on some of them. I'm not going to go crazy going through all of them because there's probably I don't want to say like 10,000, but thousands and thousands of these. Yeah. But um, I was like, oh, the original is me just to kind of try to spark yeah. some traffic to my page. But there's been a couple people that have um like tagged me like afterwards which is at least cool and then there's a couple of people that once they knew it was me they made a couple other ones that did well so that's cool but yeah it was cool but it was just such a missed opportunity yeah that sucks i remember the first time i went viral and it was amazing it, what was it your was first funny. viral one my first viral one was actually a couple's one me and matt did was it the golf one no it was not no the golf okay one. okay um it was he was like it was so funny because like we were so tired <laughs> and we had filmed TikToks earlier. We uh -huh. like, had a really busy day, but um, we were like making TikToks before we went to bed. And he's like, OK, I got one. And so he's like, oh, hey, babe. He like walks up to me. I'm sitting on the couch and he's like, hey, babe, um, I'm feeling a little frisky. Like go change into something sexy. Is it the cow one? Yeah, it's the cow yes, one. Yes, I saw that. <laughs> I was like, oh my god, I have a great idea for this. So I ran out and I changed into like a big cow one. So like, not sexy at all. You it's should like put it in this thing. video. Yes. Well, you should just literally. Really... Hey, babe. I was thinking maybe we get a little spicy tonight. Oh, yeah? Yeah, maybe get into that outfit I like. Mm, okay. Mm, milk me, daddy. <laughs> Wrong outfit. Talking about the, the red one, but okay. We could try this out. And I jump on the couch and I'm like, mm, milk me, daddy. That was so funny. Like, I get a kick out of your videos so much. Sometimes we're funny. Yeah. Sometimes. A lot of times. A lot of times. Oh, I don't wanna... Also about my viral one that I forgot to mention about, like, how I made it on all these different, like, genres of yeah, niches. Yeah. It's just because people were saying, you know, because it was like, I know it's on all men love. And then they, like, you know, cut it to, like, no. And then, like, some of the, like... The Rock, like, shut up, bitch, and then, like, I'm cut to, like, <laughs> or, like, people are just going wrong, and then, like, cutting wrong, to, like, yeah. whatever niche that they, they like the most, so. That's hysterical. I love that so much. Yeah. Um, that's awesome. Do you believe in, like, manifestation? Like, do you think you manifested that you were going to go viral? I literally just post and hope for the best and sometimes don't even have big expectations. Well, right now my expectations are very low just because the algorithms, we've had many conversations about yeah. this, but no, like I kind of just film content. I enjoy post it and see like what happens for the most part. What about in your everyday life? Do you believe in manifestation? I feel like the biggest thing I manifested was my GT3 and Dang. it's still, yeah, but I'm not super big on manifestation in really? general. Really? I'm more of a realist hmm so you don't believe in horoscopes i kind like so i'm a libra but i'm actually on the cusp of a scorpio wait what i would have not ever pictured that <laughs> why what would you picture me as i have no fucking idea like a pisces to be quite honest what, what's Pis see i don't know see i don't know the other horoscopes that well oh okay so <laughs> i'm not even gonna tell you why i thought you were a no pisces. tell me you have to now <laughs> so i uh, no. You have to. No. Okay, cut. We're done. <laughs> See ya. Pisces are just very, like, emotional. I am. But see, okay, the thing about Libras is, like, we, like, balance. So when things are off balance, it throws our balance off. Yeah. Well, on the cusp of a Scorpio, you might be very emotional. Maybe. Scorpios have very high emotions. But, like, I feel like... Wow, that's so crazy to learn that you're a Libra. Mm-hmm. Wow. I'm the well, yeah, I'm the last day of a Libra. 
That's crazy. Yeah. Matt's a Libra too. Yeah, he's what, the 12th? Uh, he's the 3rd of October. Oh, okay. Yeah. It's October 3rd. Isn't that from? Yes, that's from <laughs> Mean Girls. <laughs> yep. <laughs> from Mean Girls. Yes. I love it. Um, and then I am, I'm actually a triple fire sign. So since you're not super into horoscopes, um, you have Is like. Is because your hair dried? No. Okay. <laughs> You have your rising, <laughs> I don't even fucking know this. It's like your rising, Okay. your sun, and your moon. See, I haven't gone that far into mine. There's like your big three is your main personality. Okay. And it makes a lot of sense, actually. Um, but like it, it's like who you are on the inside, who other people see you as, like your work ethic, mm -hmm. stuff like that. And mine is all fire signs. And it's pretty accurate. Is it? I wonder what mine is then. You, I'll show you a site. Okay. You can go to like I think I've done it before. Natal chart. Yeah. You just need like the time you were born, place yeah. you were born. It's fucking crazy. Actually, I read it for one of my kids, mm -hmm. and like, it was weirdly accurate. And then, um, yeah, that That's was just funny. it was. It's weird. I totally believe in manifestation, horoscopes, stuff like that. Like I do not think that humans are the only thing in the world. Oh, I do not. I believe in aliens and like all that kind of stuff. Like we would be really silly to think we're the only floating rock in the endless endlessness. Ew, it would be so fucking crazy. Yeah. We were talking about this on a different episode and it was like, have you ever seen the Truman Show? No. Have you ever seen, I don't remember what the movie's called, but it's like people pay to go into this tiny little city become small people because anyways so there's this group of small people in like smaller than me like small. Oh, okay <laughs> and they have they live in this tiny little land that all the big people like normal sized people mm -hmm. can I've see seen a movie like that i saw yeah. a movie like that actually yeah that uh that movie it's just so crazy like yeah. To think about all the possibilities of like us being in a simulation or people like just giants watching over us. We're just in a game of Sims right now. Yeah. <laughs> We're just here making a podcast. Yep. They're laughing. They're like, Haha, look at it. these cute little humans. <laughs> 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 oh my God. So I know we're both pretty uh, not gifted in the chest oh, area. Oh, yeah. It just skipped. Yeah, I get I mean, skipped. I get huge <clears throat> boobs. Yeah, when I'm breastfeeding, and then like when I'm empty, I am empty. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, are you bi? I I don't know how to label myself. She's like, I'm straight, but I want. Like, Jessie's I think women are hot pig. as fuck. Oh my God. <laughs> don't Jessie beg me. Like the strap on. Um, yeah, how we met. How I found you on TikTok. Yeah. I feel like you get very bisexual when you drink. Oh, I do. Yeah. It's always it's always been like that. Okay. But yeah. see, for me, like, I like women. I definitely could, like, hook up with a woman. But I wouldn't want to... Like, I would want to be yeah. with a man. In a relationship. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I feel like there's a lot of women. So, like, you're sexually bi. Um, what's your preference? Ass or tits? Ass. Really? Yeah. yeah ass girl. Mm -hmm. Even though I wish I had titties... I always, like, envy girls with titties, but, yeah. Hmm. Having a nice booty. I like a nice ass. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But I love tits. I mm -hmm. love tits. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I don't have any for you to do that with. No. Even it's though you nice did lick them once. Yeah. Yeah, you did. I did. I licked it. Mm -hmm. I licked it once. Twice. Maybe three times. Maybe three times. I don't know. How many licks did it take to get to the center of Sammy Pop? So... <laughs> Would that mean I'm, like, your celebrity crush? Wow, you just put yourself up there. Oh yeah, God, I did. I'm a celebrity. I'm a celeb. I actually got recognized. I've been recognized so much Me lately. Me too. Well, not lately, but I've been recognized. I actually bought a phone from Verizon, like, years ago, and the sales guy followed me. On That's so shirt. funny. Yeah, when, um, uh, who was it? I don't remember who it was, but, um, they were like, oh, my God. 
is that Sammy GT3? And I was like, oh yeah, we've had this conversation that like, like how the fuck do you know who this is? Apparently a lot of people asked you. Were yeah. You, yeah. I still think that's, I forgot about that. That's really yeah, funny. It, it was so funny. It was like, and you were like, how many followers did you have? Cause I had a previous main account and I was like, yeah, she had like, like, you only have 147 and you were so popular. <laughs> How? Yeah, it was so funny because, like, you know, when you're that well known, yeah. you would think you have like hundreds of thousands, if not millions. Because, like, there's some people who have millions of followers. I'm like, who the fuck? That's are why you? I don't really let it get to me personally because I come across no influencers difference. with millions of followers or even hundreds of thousands. And but I guess the millions are. are yeah, I'm like, I don't. Yeah. yeah, I've never seen you before. No, I re I actually remember. So. It's so funny because when I started making really good money, I like mm -hmm. I'm like a. I'm like a girl's girl. Um, I really want to like help people do their best. So there's this girl that was like talking to one of my friends about how to like make more money. Mm -hmm. And I was trying to give her advice and like she had no idea who I was, but I was like giving her advice and I made like four times as much of her as her so it's like oh you should do this you should do this do and I she's know like him? oh my god what's your instagram no you don't know this okay person. um what's your instagram and i only had like i don't know somewhere between 10 and twenty thousand mm -hmm. followers and she was like Ugh. she like went to one of my good friends and was like that girl makes that much money how <gasps> and i was like fuck you bitch <laughs> like what yeah Anyways, yeah. I mean, I know a girl I'm in a Snapchat group with, and she's like 0.01%. And she doesn't really do a lot of promo um, through social media. She does like, she buys a lot of promo, mm -hmm. which is like okay. such a foreign world for me. Like yeah. through all these, um, what, like Discord groups or whatever. Mm -hmm. or not Discord, the Telegram groups. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And yeah, she go. buys like promo. That, yeah. I, that's normal. I never liked it. Um, so I never really bought promo. I bought promo like a couple times. But, yeah. yeah. I mean, it's cool. I feel like getting recognized in like the randomest places is really cool, but also very terrifying. Like ever since I moved here, I've had like, I think it's like five people now and they're like, I know where you live. But and they're like, tell now? me, yeah, know we tell me where I live. That is so weird. And I'm like, dude, what? I like, I lived in Vegas for yeah, m half my life. Never once had creepy people. Yeah, I don't know if anyone's, kind of like that for me but also like I have stopped like posting pictures like outside my house as much too mm -hmm. yeah just to be safe but yep. it's it's weird I'm yeah like, this place is not small <laughs> like what the fuck how does that happen anyways so yeah I'm your celebrity crush right yeah no actually who's your celebrity crush okay so I've always really liked Jennifer Aniston. I love her. Oh, I love her. And then Jordana Brewster because of Fast and Furious. Okay, okay. Yes, I always loved Mia. You guys realize how these are women, not men? Oh, we're talking about women? I thought that's what you were asking me. My women. <laughs> no, just in general. <laughs> like, who's your celebrity crush? <sighs> See, I... Okay, so I'm kind of weird with celebrities. Because I don't really like to look up to celebrities because, like, you don't know all the weird things or, like, yeah, bad things they could be doing. Yeah, strictly, like... Paul Walker. Yeah. Oh. Daddy. Yeah. It actually is really sad, like, what happened. Um, I actually... Fun fact. Um, after like, his... I got to shoot with his car. <laughs> no, I did not. <laughs> but I... After he passed, I actually threw a charity event for his um, charity row. Oh, that's and cool. And yeah, I did like a whole like car me and collect it and then donated it to his charity. That's super cool. Mm -hmm. Huh. I went to, um, I didn't do anything that fucking cool. <laughs> but what's that? Oh my God. What's, I'm blanking right now. The car show that's in like, I guess all over, but it was in <laughs> Vegas and um you're not talking well SEMA's Arizona only. yeah not SEMA um starts with a B and it's car sales and then people bring like all their old cars Barrett yeah Barrett Jackson oh uh, okay 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 so his car was being sold at Barrett Jackson yeah. when I went this oh really cool. yeah like the the car in Fast and Furious yeah yeah, I got to take a picture with um, his Evo or the Evo that was in Fast and Furious mm -hmm. too, because it was at the Philly Auto Show, I think the year after it happened, oh, the wow. crash happened. Huh. I was actually like 
fangirling over it and the security guy like let me like in the rope and take like a couple pictures with wow. it, which was cool. He's like, Sammy GT3 is here, let her in. That was before my GT3 days, okay? Oh, wow. That was actually my original wow. handle with Sammy RX8, babe. Because my- Ew. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. Babe, Sammy RX8. I was Sammy RX8, mm -hmm. babe. My listeners plate was RX8, babe. Oh my god. <laughs> it actually still is. Did you have like pink rims too? No. No. I always had good taste in cars and modifications. <laughs> she said, fuck out of here with those pink <laughs> wheels, bro. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. If you won $20 million tomorrow, what would you do with it? Buy a 992 GT3 RS. Multiple. <laughs> That would definitely be uh, the first thing. I wouldn't care how much I would get it for or how much they, I would pay double the price. Actually, Chicago Motor Cars, mm -hmm. sh the Chicago location, because there's one in South Carolina too now, um, has one. Somehow they got their hands on one and they're probably around like 300,000 like MSRP-ish, selling it for 600K. This is a real fucking car person. You say, what? you just got $20 million. What's the first thing you're doing? <laughs> She's like, I'm gonna go buy the car. I'm not have. kidding. And a house okay. to put my car collection in. I'm not kidding. <laughs> yeah, no, it's so funny. We're talking about houses and stuff, and she's like, mm, that one doesn't have a big enough garage. I know. Well, the problem is, it's like, my thing is, like, I want a lot of space. Yeah. But I like having the GT3 in the garage attached to the house, because I like, because I go in my garage, like, a decent amount. Yeah. And I like going in the garage and seeing it. I don't want it just, like, tucked away all the time where I can't see it, which is the problem. Makes sense. I think I just need to build a house. Yeah, I think building a house is the best option. I know. We um, got Matt. Matt and I have, I think, like 11 cars. Yeah. Even though a bunch of them aren't here yet. I know. I We're know. still waiting on three of them. But, uh, yeah, I think we have like You got the hot mom, RS6. Yeah. She did such a good job with it, too. Thanks. Yes. Um, yeah, so we're looking at houses and we're like, ugh. We're going to either have to get a garage space mm -hmm. somewhere else or we're going to have to find a place that has like at least a four car garage. Which is hard. Because we could do four in there, four in the driveway and then two on the street. I think it's crazy like looking like, you know, because I've been looking at houses and sometimes I come across like multi-million dollar homes or at least, you know, million dollar homes. And they, and they have, have like, like a single three. garage space, some of them. And I'm like, that is yeah. insane. Yeah. It, I mean, it's crazy, but I mean, some of them will have like that double car garage, but then it like goes right. underground. That's cool. I'm not making that. Good. Well, I like privacy. I mean, if I lived in like a gated community or just um, something a little bit private, it wouldn't matter. But I definitely like the idea of pulling into your garage and like parking behind the house. Mm -hmm. Like I would want like that and then like a separate shop with like a bigger garage. Yeah, that'd be nice. We were looking at a house once that had a garage like detached mm -hmm. as well and then it was like two stories so you could have yeah. lifts in it that was cool and i think i had an apartment as well oh really yeah it was super cool but i didn't like the location yeah that's like the hardest thing right now it's like the things i'm finding that i'm liking are just a little bit too far from civilization Mm-hmm. yeah that's usually how it works what trend are you tired of what trend am i tired of yeah Okay, this is gonna freak takeovers. <laughs> takeovers, really? Yes. Okay, why? Because those aren't real enthusiasts. They're causing problems for real enthusiasts and getting our good events shut down. Mm -hmm. Is that why Cars and Coffee got shut down? Yeah. Really? Mm hmm. Huh. Because, I mean, like, not because, like, people were doing, like, an actual takeover where they're shutting down the street, but, you know, there's just too many people, like, peeling out of there and not doing lawful things and just ruins it for everybody yeah and it's more of an issue now just because social media and everyone wants cloud and they know someone's filming of some sort back then like you know i've been to some like you know races like kind of like underground races like in philadelphia mm -hmm. and like in my arc it was like a real life fast and furious moment where like cops 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 and everyone like Dude. runs to, yeah, yeah. Like, everyone like yeah. spreads that it was so funny but yeah, I mean, like, no one really did as many, like, as much, like, stupid stuff as they do now because no one's watching. That's true. That is true. I went to some car shows when I was... Yeah. Very young. And I was like, yeah, this is crazy. 
But mm-hmm. not, yeah, nothing really dangerous like that. I feel yeah. like it was just like running from cops. And if people did dangerous stuff, it wasn't for a crowd and mm-hmm. or if, like it could have been, but not for like filming purposes or like yeah. not to the extent that they are now. All right. So <laughs> this question just popped into my head, <laughs> but I get asked this all the time on my channel. Mm-hmm. Like, why do you hang out with somebody who's in their 20s when you're 50? And I'm almost in my 30s now. Yeah, I, it's just, it actually made me wonder, like, how do we get along when we're in two different generations? It's either I'm really mature and you're really, Im- I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I'm super immature. No. no, but I think we just enjoy each other's company and we just bond yeah. over the same interests. Exactly. Only fans and cars. Only fans and, and women. cars. And women. I mean, <laughs> we do like us some women. Yes. <laughs> no, um, it's so funny because like, I'll get comments on my social media now like, oh, is she blank years old? And I'm like, no, That's she's funny. not 70 something years old. I hope old. I look so good, that good at my, your age. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah, thank you. Um, it's so, like, <laughs> it's so funny. But um, who did I work with recently? I don't remember who it was, but I worked with somebody else recently. Mm-hmm. And she's in her 30s. And somebody was like, oh, is she 76? And I was like, well, no, my videos mom's 76. <laughs> yeah, the, but yeah. with you, actually, I get more comments saying, like, why do you hang out with people in your 20s if you're 50? Well, probably because, like, I have put my, like, per- like, on my birthday post, like, I kind of don't like celebrating them getting older, honestly, mm-hmm. now, but yeah. I used to. So a lot of people that have been around for a while, like, know, like, my general age and you know? yeah. I mean, we're all, we're all fucking getting old anyways, yeah. man. We're older right now than we were three seconds ago. Yeah. I mean, Matt, I think he's 33. So, I don't know. Maybe I'm just like a cradle robber. <laughs> <laughs> Give me all the 30-year-olds. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Come here. <Ooh. laughs> okay. So, I think, that, I think that was a great episode. Um, can yes. you tell the people where they can find you, where to follow you, like what So the best OF place is? and um so my Instagram is Sammy S A M I underscore G T three and that's where I share my passion for my car and other cars and then my OnlyFans is simply Sammy K. How do you spell that? <laughs> I'm prepared for that. No, we'll just put it right here. Yeah. Simply Sammy K. Make it easier. But this is her Instagram right here. Okay. Sammy GT3 underscore, right? Sammy underscore GT3. Sammy yes. underscore GT3. All right. Um, Thanks and for then, having me. Yeah, you can subscribe to her page or my page. Doesn't matter. You I can mean, see us do our work together. Yes. But um, thank you so much for coming on to the show. Thank you. And you guys let us know if you want her back or if you don't. Be like, never, ever bring her back. I'll be back. <laughs> yeah, she'll be back. She's coming back tomorrow, so. Am I? Oh, that's fine. Mm-hmm. She's coming back tomorrow for that strap on. Let's go! <laughs> <laughs> All right, bye, guys. <laughs>